lesson is going to talk about markdowns when you're using percent off coupons in stores. So we're going to talk first about the markdown rate and the markdown rate is the actual percentage that you're saving. So maybe you have a 10% coupon or a 25% off coupon and those are representing your markdown rates. Then to calculate your markdown, you want to take the percent of that original price and the actual dollar amount becomes the markdown. So the markdown rate is the percentage and the markdown would be the dollar amount that we're taking off the original price. So we have a couple formulas today. First, to calculate what the markdown is, we're going to take the regular selling price of the item or items and you're going to multiply it by the rate. Remember, the rate always has to be in decimal form, so you're going to do that first. Then to figure out what the sell price of that item would be, you'll take the regular selling price and then subtract the markdown. However, if you need to figure out what the markdown is, we can rearrange this formula and take the regular selling price minus the sell price if you're given different information. So our, those are our formulas that we're going to utilize today. So let's look at our first example. So it says Michael bought a coat on sale for $74.99. So that's the sell price. The retail price of the coat was $119. How much money did Michael save? So basically what we're looking for in this problem is what the markdown is. So the markdown is going to be the original price of the coat and we're going to subtract out the sell price. So $119 minus $74.99 gives us $44.01. That's what our markdown is. Now we could actually figure out what percentage that is. If we wanted to find out what percentage that is, we would simply take the markdown and divide it by the original cost. That's not what this asked, but we could do that calculation very easily. That would give us about 0.37 or that it was 37% off. That would be the markdown rate. So this is the markdown and figuring that out as a quick percentage, we were able to find the markdown rate. Okay, our second example. Janice is going to Macy's with a 20% coupon. She buys a sweater for $39.99, a pair of jeans for $45, a pair of boots for $79.50. What was her total sell price after using the coupon? So the first thing we need to do is calculate what her original price was. So the original purchase price of the items. So we're going to take $39.99 plus $45 plus $79.50 and her original purchase price was $164.49. Now I'm actually going to show this problem to you two ways. I'll show it to you using the formulas that they've given. So what we need to do from here is calculate the markdown. So the markdown is going to be the original price, the selling price, times our 20%. So the markdown of this item will be $32.90. Now from there we can find our sell price. So we'll take the original and we'll subtract out the markdown and that will give us the sell price for our items to be $131.59. That's our sell price. Now, if we want it, we're in the store and we're shopping, the easier way to do this is, I think, is to figure out what percent you're paying. If the markdown rate is 20%, that means you're going to pay 80% because that's a quick subtraction problem. So now I've turned this into a problem I only need to do, I, I switched the subtraction to the beginning and now I'm just going to multiply. So to figure out my sell price now, I'm actually going to figure out what I paid which was 80% times the original price. And if I do that calculation, that's going to take me to 131.59. So all I did was switch the order. Instead of 
multiplying by the rate and then subtracting from the original, I subtracted my rate from 100 and then multiplied by the original and it gets me to the same place. Okay, if I go into your book and look at concept check number two, this is the example there. So if you wanna pause the video and pick up and check your work, that would be great. Coats and jackets are on sale. A leather jacket is on sale for 40% off the regular selling price of $219.99. Find the markdown and the sell price. So where I'm gonna do this one the original way. So the markdown is to take the percentage of the original price. So I'm gonna take 40% of $219.99. Oops, 40% of $219.99. And that gives me a markdown of $87. Actually, that gives me a markdown of 88 once I round that number. Okay, so now to find the sell price, I'm going to simply take the original $219.99 minus the $88, and that gives me $131.99. Again, I could do that in an opposite order and figure out that my sell price, if my markdown rate is 40%, that means my sell price is going to be 60% of $219.99. And when I do it that way, I get right off the bat $131.99. The only problem with that method is that I miss the actual markdown and the question asked for the markdown and the sell price. So just pay attention to what the question's asking for. My last example is comes from concept check three in the book. It says Cassie is interested in purchasing a new laptop computer for her school. It has a markdown of 18% saving her $120. What was the original price of the laptop? So this time we're looking for the original sell price, but we know the savings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the savings and set that equal to the original price multiplied by the 18% that she's saving. So I just set that up in the formula, and then I'll solve by dividing both sides by 0.18. So $120 divided by 0.18 gives me that the original price is $666.67. Okay, look for your problems on Google Classroom and let me know if you have any questions.